In 1861, a slave named Robert Smalls stole a Confederate ship and delivered it to the Union Army. He was given command of the ship. He became a major general, bought the house where he was a slave, and let the former owner's wife live there when she developed dementia. He learned how to read and write and won an election against a white man and served five years in Congress. Where is the movie about Robert Smalls? You don't make one. What you'll do is you'll make a movie about Vikings and turn them black. What was his name? Ashuga or Ashuka? I believe he was a black slave sold by a Portuguese merchant merchant vessel to Japanese men who set him free, and he became a samurai warrior in feudal Japan. That would be a fucking killer of a show. There's a job for a black actor, but what you don't do is take a classic story like the story of Troy, where Achilles is described in the original text as a fair-skinned man with long blonde hair, and make the actor black. It's lazy and it's insulting. As a mixed race man, it offends me. Remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a clip from Piers Morgan Uncensored. We got Basim Youssef, an Egyptian comedian, and Ernest Owens, the author of a book called A Case for Cancel Culture. I did a video on him a month ago, I think, and he was on Piers Morgan, and he's back again today. Um, and they're talking about the highly controversial Netflix series that's set to release on May 10th, the Netflix docuseries on Cleopatra. And, um, you know, leading up to this documentary, I've seen people arguing on Instagram, on Twitter, all over social media and different comment sections. People are very heated up and passionate about this on the black side and on the Egyptian side. But to give my, you know, my two cents on it before the video starts just like the clip I played in the beginning of Tristan Tate and, you know, love him or hate him, like him or dislike him. I think that clip that I played is probably one of the best takes that I've ever heard from him on the Internet that exists. I understand the argument for representation and why that's important to a lot of people. I really do. But what I don't understand is why don't more black people call for original stories of actual black and African history to be made or why they don't push more for those types of movies to be made of things that actual blacks and actual Africans have actually done. Tell our real history instead of trying to, you know, blackwash history or hijack something and make it historically inaccurate. You know, when it comes to the case of this Cleopatra documentary, this ain't the Little Mermaid. You know what I mean? Like this, this isn't a fictional character this is a documentary, so it's supposed to be historically accurate. The depictions are supposed to be historically accurate. So if Cleopatra wasn't black, don't make her black in the Netflix documentary just to please black people and give them some representation. Let us represent in our own true history and things that we actually were a part of and things that we actually did do instead of just trying to appease us by, you know, throwing us roles here and there with historically inaccurate films and you know, changing characters from white to black. Give us our own original historical films. Let's do more of that. But that's just my opinion. That's just my two cents. We're about to get into this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while we're watching. Now let's roll it. Netflix series on Cleopatra has been hit with claims of cultural vandalism over the casting of black actress Adele James in the lead role. Well, Cleopatra's precise heritage is a point of scholarly debate. There's no evidence that she was black and the casting has caused major controversy in Egypt, spurring a lawsuit and claims the program makers are erasing Egyptian identity. It's not the first casting controversy we've seen, of course, though the backlash is normally the other way around. Brian Cranston was lambasted for playing a disabled character in The Upside, as was Jake Gyllenhaal, who starred in The Prince of Persia, despite not being Persian or a prince. And of course, Eddie Redmayne, who issued a groveling apology for playing a trans woman in The Danish Girl. So is casting Cleopatra as a black woman culturally insensitive? Should we care? Isn't the job of an actor, after all, to act? Well, joining me now is legendary Egyptian comedian Bassem Youssef and author of The Case for Cancel Culture, Ernest Owens. Well, welcome to both of you. OK, let me start with you. Um, yeah, you guys remember him? He looked familiar now. This guy's back. <laughs> Owens, off you go. Yeah, um, I think that this is ridiculous. I think that she um, is in full range to play Cleopatra. I think people should remember that there was controversy when the late, great Elizabeth Taylor played Cleopatra, and people thought that it was inaccurate for a white woman like her to play the character. Um, history has said that there is some racial ambiguity around um, Cleopatra's identity. She's definitely not white. And I think to even assume 
that Egyptians do not carry some level of African ancestry that can have a darker skin complexion is also historically inaccurate. So I think she's more of the ideal of what Cleopatra would look like more than Elizabeth Taylor would be. And you didn't see as much backlash for Elizabeth Taylor playing Cleo okay. Cleopatra yeah, compared that's a, to that. That's a fair point. So let me go to you, Bess. I mean, that is a fair point. Liz, Liz Taylor was the biggest movie star in the world at the time she played Cleopatra. She was not Egyptian. What's the difference? Well, first of all, this was Hollywood before it was informed. This is where 1961, when Cleopatra by Elizabeth Taylor, we're not crazy about Elizabeth Taylor playing Cleopatra either. That was also inaccurate. I don't know where do you get the idea that we're happy that she played the role. As a matter of fact, 1961 Cleopatra movie was banned in, 19, in Egypt and many Arab countries because of Elizabeth Taylor's stance towards the, the state of Israel because he supported them. So I don't know where does he kind of get this information. Second of all, this is the same Hollywood that in 1956 they cast John Wayne at Junkie's Khan. So this is a time where Hollywood didn't know any better. Now, the problem for me, it's not about color. It's not about white and black. This is a very reductive way to talk about things. This is the way that Americans talk about it. I'm very sorry. Like, I come from Egypt. Egypt has a very diverse color palette. People can look like me or they can look deeper skin tone like Anwar Sadat, who comes from a Nubian origin. It's not about black and white. It's about the continuous culture uh, appropriation and falsification of history that has been done by what the so-called Afrocentrist movement. The Afrocentric movement started the last century as a way in a good intention to teach African American about their rich history of West Africa, the great empire of Benin, of Ghana, um, of uh, Songali, uh, the great empire of Mali. But the thing is, that's why you find people like Kevin Hart, who subscribes to these theories, who claim that his ancestors play, uh, build the pyramids. I'm sorry, your ancestors had their own wonderful civilization in West Africa. They are culture appropriating my culture, calling the people of Egypt of today, despite their skin tone, that they call us as invaders, they, we call, okay, uh, they call me, us right. as intruders, mm. and, and, and they are being erased by, from our own history. Okay, this is something that understand, Hollywood has done over uh, the years. understand, but Go let ahead. me throw this back at you. This, this point so Basim made some very good points right there. To the contrary of what Ernest Owen said, Basim said that back in the day when, you know, you had a white woman playing Cleopatra, they had an issue with that, too. So it's not all just about color. It's, it's not this situation where when a white woman did it, it was cool. And now because a black person's doing it, it's not cool. It's not about that for them. You know, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't speak for everybody in Egypt, but let's just say he does for the sake of this argument. Um, for for Egyptian people, it's just about being historically. It seems like it's more about being historically accurate than anything. It's not about the color. A, a, a white woman playing an Egyptian wasn't historically accurate, and neither was neither is this black woman playing an Egyptian. That's not historically accurate either. And I don't understand. I don't think it should be too hard for Netflix to find an Egyptian actress to lead this role. I don't understand why they couldn't just find an Egyptian actress who who's at least from Egypt. And he also brought up the Afrocentrist movement, which was originally designed and put out there for black people to understand more about their culture, where they come from. But it seems like today, you know, it, it's kind of boiled down to a lot of black people just thinking that everything's black and that we have this footprint everywhere and that we are everything and we are on everything, you know. I understand, you know, some people want to go blackity black, black. I get it. But, you know, we aren't the only ones with history and culture. Everybody has history and culture. And you can't just stampede all over somebody, somebody else's, another culture's culture. You can't do that. You know, Egyptians have their own unique culture. And black people have their own unique culture as well. I know Egypt is in Africa. But Egypt, like Yusuf said, has a very diverse cultural background. This back here. This point that we've had so many cases now, where people talk about appropriation with actors, be it their sexuality, be it their gender on occasion, be it whatever it may be, um, and ultimately, I always come back to one point, which is: shouldn't actors do what their job description is? Act. I mean, shouldn't any actor be able to play any part? Actually, and once you start making exceptions for that rule, where do you stop? Is is that question for me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, this is not a work of fiction. This is a documentary. This is a documentary. There is a huge difference. This is not the Little Mermaid, which is like a fictional <laughs> character where you can anybody can play anything. 
uh, uh, Cleopatra with, came from a Macedonian Greek origin. And the thing is, it's not about like the skin color. As I don't, we don't care about if they're black or white. It's about it's about how Hollywood is so culturally sensitive and they're so sensitive about all kind of, of minorities. But when it comes to my people, we seem to be erased. A couple of years ago, they announced that Gal Gadot, an ex-Israeli soldier who condones her government actions and atrocities against uh, Palestinian children, she was going to play Cleopatra. For me, this is even a bigger insult. And Gal Gadot is not black. It's not about black and white. It's about this idea of, of Hollywood always stealing the culture of my own people. I don't care what Charleston Histon tells you in the Ten Commandments or Steven Spielberg tells you in The Prince of Egypt, but I am sorry, Jewish slaves did not build the Great Pyramid. This has been debunked many times by okay. two historians. Let me so okay. the thing is, like, we are the only people who are not allowed to tell our own... We are the only people who are not allowed to talk about our own history. All right, let and me Hollywood bring, is doing right, it let, for let me, us. Okay, I, I disagree. hang on, hang on, Ernest, let me ask you a question, Ernest, which is sure. how would you feel if a white actor was chosen to play Nelson Mandela? I think that there is historical inaccuracies there. I think that, you know, I think what he's confusing is race and nationality. And I also think that that is why you don't see as many black actors upset as Cynthia Revo, who is British who played, you know, Harriet, because we understand the nuances of racial identity compared to nationality versus um, the identity of the African dis the diaspora. So no one's upset about the fact that David Onyalu played MLK. Um, there may be some people, but others didn't because we understood the nuance of racial identity. So when we're talking about race and nationality, those are two different things. But I think the issue that that I want to push back on what he said earlier is that there are other actors in this film that are playing Egyptians that do not look like Cleopatra or come from there. And I just feel like the energy being focused on Cleopatra is why some people are pushing back because this actress could easily look by identity looks closer to what it, Cleopatra could look like, but the rest of that cast is fairly white. And you're not saying anything about those individuals. You only focused on Cleopatra, who's being played by this back black actress. But when you look at the other cast, I don't think they're all Egyptian. I don't think they all represent the cast. Well, sorry to cut you off, my guy, but isn't the documentary called Queen Cleopatra? It's about Cleopatra. So she's the star and the focal point of the entire documentary. So it's, it's a no brainer that people would be very fixated on you know who is playing that character let me so all right let me bring in okay let me bring back Basim. i mean if this was in a theater production i could imagine this happening Absolutely. without people creating much of a fuss is it because it's a hollywood movie and hollywood's put itself in the vanguard no, of it's a, cultural it's appropriation about, it, 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 it's a documentary Hollywood has been erasing my people from ten, we have are not allowed to tell our own history and I'm sorry I have to disagree with the gentleman it's not about it's it, every it's not just Cleopatra everybody in that movie her court everybody who's supposed to be Egyptian they look like they came from West Africa from the south of the Sahara we as Egyptians are being called intruders and invaders in our own culture this has been going on systematically I don't want to wake up one day and find the museum of the African American culture and history claiming the stolen Egyptian artifacts in the in the British Museum to be theirs and, uh, and now I'm hearing that Zendaya the, the very popular actor who I would her, love her to play any but the, Zendaya ethnically is is half Nigerian half German and now she's gonna play where are though where are the Egyptian actors where are okay. the where are the Arab actors who supposed it and the thing is the, even like historically wise you see in the in, in the in the trailer it's like I don't care what what you what they told you but Cleopatra was black who's that woman why is african-american people are telling my own history she is there there's all of these pseudo science and pseudo history has been going on and it has implications no i am sorry african people from west africa did not build the pyramids okay cleopatra did not like like that and if also jewish people do not build the pyramids okay it is time for hollywood to listen to the people who own that history so well, he made tell. that and just made one, that. One, 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 one more That's thing i'm gonna say one more thing Egypt, Egypt, Egypt had 30 dynasty over 2,700 years. We had kings and queens from the kingdom of Kush, the, from Nubia, from Libya. This area had, all, had bled into each other and expanded and shrunk into each other. I understand exactly what I mean when I say nationality okay. or heritage or ethnicity. You both, so made, sorry, your, like, you both uh, made your points yeah, strongly. Thank you. It's an interesting debate. Thank you both very much indeed. So, all right, guys, that's it for the video. 
like I said in the beginning, a lot of people very passionate about this, as you can see put on display from Basim Youssef in this video on Piers. And I understand where he's coming from. You know, if I was an Egyptian and I saw a Netflix documentary on Egypt, on Cleopatra, and I see a black person playing Cleopatra, I see black people giving Egyptian history lessons, talking about I don't care what nobody says, <laughs> Cleopatra was black. I, I don't blame them for taking offense to that. You know, and it's funny because black people always talk about representation. So you would think they will understand where the Egyptians are coming from. They want a chance to tell their own history properly. You know, they want that representation. And it's not only representation. They also want to maintain historical accuracy because you got people you got people living in Egypt who are being called um, like he mentioned, like Basim mentioned, who are being called invaders in the land in which they they were born and which they live at. They're being called invaders by people who live in America. It just don't make sense. So he's just standing up for his culture, and I get it 100%. But that's all I got for this video, you guys. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe when you're at the door. And until next time, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.